Hi, my name is Michelle and I'm with Stampin' Storage and I am here with Mary. Hi, Michelle. And we are here to talk about paper pockets and paper sleeves. So we've been getting a lot of questions on what are the differences between paper pockets and paper sleeves. So we wanted to kind of break them down for you guys and kind of go through what makes sense to choose one or the other. So Mary, let's start with paper sleeves, which is what I have here. Tell me a little bit about how you use them and organize your space with them. Well, paper sleeves were a great problem solver for me. They were a great way to um, contain my paper scraps and solve that problem of what's happening with them. So I use them in my paper holder. Um, like you see back here behind me on my, my Calyx, I have a paper max and I have the paper sleeves in there on top of my full sheets and they are containing anything smaller than a full sheet. So I got them right there, easy to grab. I like them because they have the little thumb notch yeah. so you can easily open it. So it's open on two sides to grab out what you want, find it, put it back in, and put it back in its spot. And these, just to talk about what you have behind here, these are the paper holders. They're the eight and a half by 11 Ikea Max paper holders. Correct. So they're designed for the Ikea products to fit in the Ikea. Right, when I first started with them, I had them actually turned the other way so the majority of the paper was horizontal, okay. and then these smaller sides were vertical. Yep. And that's why I had my paper label system in here so I could lay, put the lit color label down there. Looking down at them, it was easy to read. Mm -hmm. But I wanted a nice rainbow order for my paper, so I rotated them so I could get this continuous rainbow of color, that is beautiful. which is very fun to look at, but it made the paper label system a little more hard to read because now they're on their side. So I haven't gotten around to labeling my sleeves yet, but they will go on the tabs. Um, I'm actually going to put a label on both sides of the tabs so you can read it however you're facing That's the paper, and then we can see that a little better. Um, so yeah, that, but it works great actually to have both in a sleeve, okay. especially if you have your paper holder horizontally, you can see, look down on that label system, see your color label, you got the sleeve labeled, you can pull out a great way to keep everything organized. Okay. Okay. My favorite thing with the paper sleeve is that it is open on two sides like I said, and it has that little notch cut out so you can easily yeah. grab and open it. It does make it a little easier kind of paging through, not really paging through, but flipping through the pieces of paper. Right. I especially find that with my 12 by 12s yeah. because I will keep a coordinated kit of papers in my 12 by 12 sleeve. There's that little thumb notch so I can easily open it, find what I'm looking for, not damage corners as I'm putting paper, the bigger sheets in. Yep. So it's very handy to have it that way. Yeah. And then it's easy to find what you're looking for. It's also great if you're scrapbooking and you have all your elements of a 12 by 12 page or an eight and a half by 11 page with your sleeves. You put all the elements in there if you wanna grab it and go for a craft retreat or a crop or anything very easy to contain yeah. and find what, what you want. want. I love that idea because you can yeah. have your stickers in your, the, your photos in there, your paper. Yep, everything yeah. you can prep and if you can't finish it, you stick everything back in yeah. the sleeve <laughs> and you're ready to grab and go that when you want to finish the project. Never happen. Oh no, <laughs> no. Okay, so what are some of the different things you would use for a paper sleeve? Do you primarily use it just for your paper? Do you use it for any other items possibly? I primarily use it for my smaller pieces of paper, my scraps. I find it has been a great way to keep it all contained and I actually use my scraps way more than I did before. So I use them for that. I use them for some of the bigger embellishment sheets okay. I have. I'll keep them in there. Um, I have used them for organizing stuff for classes. So just a very versatile product that you can use for a lot of different ways. Okay. And the one thing I think to keep in mind with the paper sleeves, because it is a sleeve and it opens, it only fits about six, if you had full sheets of cardstock, so we're talking the thicker cardstock, it would only fit about six, seven sheets of cardstock. Um, right. If you put more than that in, they'll start pulling out away from the edges and hanging out over the outside edges, which is primarily why I use mine for scraps. Yep. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and they do fit, all of our paper sleeves will fit in any stamp and storage product. So regardless if it's a paper holder for Ikea, a standard paper holder, or even the like the 12 print. by 12 will fit in the paper crates. Mm -hmm. So 
Let's talk about storage pockets. All right, because in the paper crate, that's one of the challenges, is having it open on two sides. It is. Because in the hanging file folder, the sides are already open, yep. so your little pieces could slide their way out. Yeah, and if you're familiar with our paper crates, part of the way we try to keep those crates as light as possible, because we know you guys are gonna stack them, move them, some of you take them to retreats when you go, is the sides are open on the paper crates to make them a yep, easier to lift, easier to carry. Yep, so if you are using the sleeves, sometimes those little pieces can fall out. How does a paper pocket solve oh, that problem? Perfectly, because the pocket is sealed on three sides. And so it makes a wonderful addition to hanging file folder use, absolutely. And we have it in both eight and a half by 11 and 12 by 12 sizes. So it's wonderful, yep. And you actually have, we're gonna grab a paper crate here just to kind of show yes. you Yes, so this is, and I, I just got back from a craft retreat <laughs> using this, so it was wonderful. So yeah, in I don't take all my paper with, obviously, because that would be impossible. So I have a selection in here, but I have several shades of pink right here in a storage pocket, yep. so paper pocket, and they're not going to fall out. They're going to stay in there. And then I've got two different, my lighter pinks and darker pinks, but they're in the same file. Okay. So I can keep them separated that way. Those smaller pieces aren't going to fall out yep. and keeps it organized great. And how many pieces of cardstock would you say can fit in a paper pocket? Comfortably, you can fit 15 full sheets of cardstock in a pocket. Okay. You can do more, but then it starts like the paper sleeves of each inching out past the edges and then you run into the possibility of damaging edges of paper. Okay, so the pockets are a great option if you have those bigger, you know, set, say you're organizing some of your paper a little bit thicker sets, yep. they're better than the paper sleeves because they can fit more. They can fit a little bit more, yep. And, they're, and it keeps it more contained. So tell us another way you use the paper, because we have on the paper pockets, you have the choice of either landscape or portrait for that tab. For the eight and a half by 11. Yep. So it's wonderful to have that option because the portrait is great and it would be great if you're laying it horizontally in your standard paper holder and it will fit in there. Yep. Unfortunately, the paper pockets do not fit in the IKEA paper holders. There to, be, to get it sealed on three sides, we had to make the, the pocket a little bit bigger. Yep. So it does not fit. However, the landscape pocket does fit in the four additional slots on the IKEA Paper Max. Which is awesome Which because is. if you have the sleeves, as you know, putting it in this way, right, you're, you're not covering that whole area. Right, if I put these up here, the tab gets goes into the slot yeah. and then I have trouble labeling. But now with these beautiful landscape pockets, my tabs are all sticking out. They fit right in there, have all my extra smaller pieces in there contained easy to grab. Yep. So now would you still use that for like your scraps and smaller pieces or do you ever put full paper sets in there? Like your you, full pack of paper? You could definitely store your paper packs. I use it mainly for my scraps because I just keep the full sheets in the slot. Okay. And then I know if this is empty, I need a full sheet. Okay. So that kind of helps me keep that separate. Okay. So if you're trying to decide which you would choose, if you're going to go with paper sleeves or paper, paper pockets, what are some of the key features you would consider if you're organizing paper scraps? First of all, how are you storing your paper? Are you storing it in a file folder? Are you storing it in a paper holder? Okay. What direction are you using the paper holder, horizontal or vertical? That's all going to kind of play in. If you're using IKEA paper holders, you want the paper sleeves, yep. hands down, unless you have the Max and you can use the landscape pockets on these four additionals. Yep. That's an awesome awesome thing. Um, if you're using the file folders, I highly recommend the new pockets yep. because it's going to keep it contained in there. They're not going to fall out and you got everything where you need it to be. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, but both products have their one, their uses. They're great. I love the sleeves. I love the thumb notch cutout because it does make opening it so much easier yep. and less damage on paper, putting it in. So say you're going to a scrapbook retreat, are you gonna use the paper pockets or the paper sleeves for that? Since I'm taking my paper crate with me, I will be using the pockets in that because I like that it's contained and they're not going to fall out. Okay. If I was using scrapbook pages that I had got pieces for, I'm gonna choose the paper sleeve because you can easily open it up, get your pieces in there, find what you want. Um, 
better container because normally if I do those I'll have those in a separate container okay so that's kind of how I go back and forth on them. Okay, and the other great thing about, regardless if you choose the paper pockets or the paper sleeves, they are gonna give your paper that extra protection when you're traveling, as you're grabbing those scrap pieces out, it just kind of protects it a little bit better versus if you just have it thrown in a pile or thrown on top of your paper or in a drawer or a, you know, a little um, plastic bin. So once again, just to make sure you understand the difference between the paper sleeve and the paper pocket. The paper sleeve is open on two sides, has this wonderful little thumb notch to find, open it up easily, find what you need. The paper pocket is sealed on three sides, open on one. So, and the pocket, I love the eight and a half by 11 that you got the portrait or the landscape yeah. style. Yeah. Gives, opens up way more options, I yeah. think. It's so much flexibility. I mean, everybody organizes their spaces different. And so it really gives you that specific product that fits your exact needs versus trying to make something work. Right. Either way, you can't go wrong no. with your choice and it's going to help you contain those scraps yes. and give you a world of better creativity. Yep, exactly. Thank you for joining us. I hope that helps you guys with knowing the difference between our paper sleeves and paper pockets. If you have any questions, feel free just to comment and ask and we will get back to you guys with the answers. All right, thanks for joining us. Thank you.